Mrs. Grant? I don't know who you are, but you were obviously some sort of desperate Hail Mary from my husband or from Cyrus or from someone else who thinks there is a chance in hell of getting me to put on that stupid dress and go to that stupid speech. I'm not interested in whatever it is you came here to say, so save it and go away. It's not happening. Children die, Mrs. Grant. I don't have children, so you may think it's horrible for me to say that. Maybe it is, but it's also a fact. That of all the millions of Americans who will be watching and listening to the State of the Union address tonight, there are thousands of people out there whose children have died, just like yours. But unlike you, they didn't get to spend three months flipping through trash and eating potato chips. They got three days to grieve, three weeks, if they were lucky, or they would lose their jobs. And make no mistake, Mrs. Grant, you have a job. You're the First Lady of the United States, and it might not pay, but it is a job. And if Jackie Kennedy could be in a car with her husband's brain splattered across her lap one minute and standing next to LBJ as he was sworn in to replace her dead husband just 99 minutes later, you can put on a dress and stand in your private box and show all the people in our nation who share the horrible burden of losing a child with you that the first family may be devastated, but it has not forgotten the American people who voted for your husband and who need to see that you're okay, whether or not it's the truth. I was gonna wear blue, but I heard the Elliots are wearing blue, so I decided to go with red. My son Jerry's death was a horrible fluke. But it was just that, a fluke, an accident. A bacterial strain that we do not yet have the capacity to keep our loved ones safe from. But there were thousands of people last year who lost their lives in a completely avoidable way. How many other people's children are we going to let die before we put a stop to this? Are you all right, ma'am? I'm fine. 